the oldest of four children. I felt lost as I fell asleep each night in the abandoned building my family called home in the Desire Project. As my brothers and sisters lost faith in me, I lost hope in myself. Every time I tried to be the leader and man I thought I could be, things got worse. Before I knew it, I was in middle school, doing drugs and carrying a handgun and couldn't read or write. I asked myself, who is going to be there for my family? Am I meant to be nobody? Then my grandma took my hand and prayed. She told me I had a chance. I could be someone. I wasn't ready yet, though. August the 29th, 2005, Katrina changed my life. In Houston, I found myself walking in the same steps. With them, my fifth grade teacher in Houston stepped it in. Mr. Burton, Ms. Bliss, Ms. Cummins, and Mr. O told me that I can be someone. I returned home to New Orleans, but found myself walking back to my old lifestyle. On Canal Street, a lady stopped at me, who I didn't recognize. Troy, you're going through a lot of things. You need to change, or you're going to die. You will be like your uncle, who is on drugs, and your uncle, who is stealing. Your grandmother and father are good people, and they want to see you make a change. Shocked and confused, I remember my dad trying to help me read in Houston. I had cursed him out and walked away. I didn't understand then, but suddenly it all made sense. It was then I decided to change. I stopped it, being with the girls, selling and hanging out with my old friends. They started calling me stupid and fake and picking fights with me. I started going to school and teaching myself how to read and write. President Troy, a good role model. I was a leader. I never thought someone older than me would say, I look up to you. I greater than Tilly High. I am president of the Principal Advisory Committee. I want to take care of myself, family, and others who have been where I have been in life. I want to be a pediatrician so that I can heal the mental and physical wound of every child.